Uh, if you're looking for some unique items to give your home that little extra something, art fairs are a great source to find out locally made uh, one of a kind pieces. And the Kensington Metro Park Art Fair is happening this weekend at Maple Beach inside Kensington Metro Park. Joining us in studio today to talk about some of the items that are up for sale, Mark Loeb, the producer of the event and owner of Integrity Show Shows. I think this is the third or fourth time that we've worked together. Good to yes, see you again. Thank you so much, Jason. So come on down here and let's start here. And no, no, no. Pitch, pitch, pitch. Oh, I'm sorry, right okay. here. So started with some of the larger things. This is a piece by Aspasia Fotiu, who's uh, a very young artist. She uses inks and uh, paints. and. A uh, very spontaneous work. Um, this looks like, in the first blush, I, w I felt like I was on Belle Isle looking mm -hmm. at downtown Detroit right here, but I, yeah, this I think is it open was to inspired interpretation. By that, yes. Okay. Um, so, that would be a, a one example. So, and, and then this is a more traditional painting here by Annette Poitou. She's uh, from France, but has been living in Michigan for a while, or actually Ohio. Um, what I love about this piece, it can go vertical, horizontal, it goes mm -hmm. many different ways. So, it, uh, those people that say their work is, they don't have room for paintings anymore. Well, find something a little less uh, square, and uh, it'll fit in the, the holes. Who's this uh, funny fellow right here? Oh, that's just a little uh, knick-knack type of thing. Some people um, prefer uh, things that sit on the counter. Or uh, This is kind of a cool piece next to it, though. This um, works as a jewelry box, or you can put just about anything you want in there. I, don't, I can't recall seeing something like that in an art fair before, nor can I recall seeing like the Eye of Soren like wine glass here. Yeah, and unfortunately, it's not filled up. I, I think uh, we do have some wine not, for you. Just I know be I saw over there, but a um, couple three minutes and we'll hook you up. Uh, this one's an interesting piece. Dwayne Scherer does nothing but clocks. His whole booth is clocks, and it's amazing what uh, what he's able to come up with. Cats? Who knew? Mm -hmm. All right, uh, behind that or uh, to the okay, side. So of this that? piece here. It is actually a wood piece. It's made by a wood turner, and as you uh, look through it, it works as a kaleidoscope. Really? Yeah. So you make your own art, the art that only you will see. Kaleidoscopes always remind me of the beginning of Family Affair with sure. Buffy and Jody and Mr. French. Yeah, so here I showed how sometimes you can buy two pieces and put them together. So this wonderful print by um, Amy Ferguson goes with this great uh, piece here. Uh, to give you a undersea feel. Under um, the sea, under the sea. And then we come up with some wearable art, which is becoming the largest growing category because people can never have enough jewelry, it seems. Yeah. So this is a scarf that I offset with a, um, a uh, necklace by a different artist. Okay. Just to show you how you can kind of combine a few pieces and make your own special look. Okay, and then over and here. And this one here is kind of fun. It looks like a standard hat until you look around to the edge and you see the way that she's adorned it. Uh, you may not want to be wearing it this weekend when it's warm, but you'll be uh, happy to have it when you hit the cold weather again. It's like a fascinator beanie. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, where can people get more information? Uh, we've got a website, kensingtonartfair.com. Kensingtonartfair.com. And we're open all weekend and Monday, uh, 10 to 6, and Saturday, Sunday, 10 to 4, Monday. Good to see you. Thank you.